the story. Can I get up? Chip, 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 chip. Everywhere, chip, chip. Up, down, left, right. Chip, 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 chip. Shorty's moving again. Chip, shorty's loose with the pen. Chip, shorty do with the wind. Chip, chip, chip. Alright, what's up boys? Stack 612. Right now, I'm working on the $900 Civic. The Canadian Civic, man. If y'all haven't seen the earlier videos in the series, you know that there are a few problems with this gauge cluster. As you can see, you can see right here, the previous owner was an asshole and he took out the check engine light. So, I put in a new bulb and the check engine light still does not work. And um, if y'all are interested, the code that's on is a P0135, which means the O2 sensor, the top O2 sensor is not working properly. And this is due to the cracked exhaust manifold. So I replaced the bulb. The check engine light still was not functional. So I don't know why that was, but. So anyway, I decided I'm gonna have to be replacing the, the instrument cluster. And um, you'll be surprised at what I found on Craigslist. Okay, there it is. So old gauge cluster out and y'all will be surprised at what I got next. Booyah, ain't that crazy or what? So as you can see, this is a Canadian gauge cluster. I looked on Craigslist, I saw this thing, CDM, everything's in kilometers, kilometers per hour, kilometers on the odometer. I think it's pretty cool. Who needs JDM when you got CDM? So yeah, I'm gonna plug it back in, see what's up. All right, boys, moment of truth. Got everything bolted in. Yes. Uh oh. Yes, man, everything works. Oh my goodness. See if the handbrake works. Yes. Man, serpentine belt's a little bad though, but. All right, boys, I'm very happy. The CDM gauge cluster is installed kilometers per hour. You know, it's pretty exotic in my opinion, but you know, that's that's whatever. I've never been more glad for the check engine light to be on in my life. At least now I'm just, it, it works. Looks like I'm gonna need a new serpentine belt now. Just like the old Civic, man. <laughs> I'm probably gonna scan these codes again, make sure there's nothing new. And then um, I'm gonna get on with the rest of it. All right, what's up, boys? Deck 612, you already know. So I'm out here working on the Canadian Civic, man. You can see I got a uh, front bumper cover. Those are pretty rare to find in the junkyard. But anyway, man, I haven't mentioned this, but this car, when I bought it, it did not come with the AC belt. So obviously the AC doesn't work. And the, the previous owner, believe it or not, shady as he was, he actually informed me about this. He said the the car doesn't have an AC belt for some reason. So my first thought was that someone took it off because probably the uh, the condenser or the compressor was busted. So that was my first thought. So I, when I went to put a belt on to see if that was the case, um, I found out. You gotta remove this engine mount to get the bolt off. And um, yeah, I found out why they did not replace the belt. They cut the belt, but they weren't able to put another one back on because this this engine mount it's all rusted out it's a canadian car it is so seized on there it's not going anywhere i'm gonna have to figure something out i might get the blowtorch i might not i'm gonna have to get the blowtorch out and uh work from there all right boys back to the present anyway long story short i'm not putting the belt on that's just not happening if y'all know about civics y'all y'all would know why it's not gonna have to go on, but um, let's get organized here. If you all know about civics, you know that to access the AC belt, you have to first remove the power steering belt. I got the engine mount off. I didn't really get it off. I just kind of got the middle part off because you know how the, the center part of the engine mount always breaks off. So I just fished, it, fished the, uh, the belt in through there and then I realized I had to take this thing off. 
And I'm just not gonna do that because that's a two-man job to put it back on. It's gonna be a real pain in the butt. And you're gonna need another guy to uh, put tension on this power steering pump so you'll be able to have tension right here. Or else it's gonna be squeaking like hell and you don't want that. So, yep, not doing it. It's all good. Um, yeah. I ordered a bunch of new parts. I'm fixing the Bondo. I mean, look at that, like, this still looks like trash, like you can still see it here in person, you know. Let me see if I can focus in on, yeah, so you can kind of see, you can see how, like, you can see the Bondo and everything. So it looks like crap, but I mean, from far away, it's kind of all right, like, like if the lights, if the lights not hitting it fully. Same with this side, I just put a layer on this side. Just put a layer on there about maybe an hour ago. Spent a lot of money on Bondo. But I mean, it looks a lot better. Cause I mean, remember remember how bad this one looked, especially this side right here. I'm gonna play a little video. Like you see this right here, I stuffed some, oh shoot. Yo, oh, that's bad. <laughs> so now I got like a new quarter panel welded in. I got a layer, a few layers of Bondo and Primer on top of that. So it should be looking better pretty soon. Um, yeah. Got that sticker removed right here. Yesterday, it was pretty satisfying to watch. I still have to remove, still have to remove that sticker right there. I have a bunch of new parts coming in the mail. I bought this oil at Walmart, 5W20. I wanted to get 5W30, but it was 20 bucks and. I don't really care about this car. I'm gonna sell it pretty soon. I'm gonna drive it for a month once I get it fully all together. I got my eyes on a truck and uh, I might be getting that, so I'm still gonna need to be driving this thing. But yeah, I got paint on the way. I got a spray gun. It's already came in the mail about a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I love this car so much, but I freaking hate it. It's kind of like your children, you know? You love them, but you just want to, uh, you know, sometimes. But anyway, I'm out. No, thumbs up. No. Peace.